how's it going everyone Mitch here and today I'll be doing a video showing you how to change the air filter on a Mark 1 Voxwing Signia so the tools that you actually need are pretty simple uh, I just have a screwdriver set all the bits and a socket set um, that's all you need obviously I got the new air filter there and uh, yeah I'm just gonna do this for you guys it uh, should be a quick video, uh, no performance parts, unfortunately, because <laughs> it's only a, you know, it's a sensible car, unlike my other one. Alright guys, so here we are in the engine bay of the Vauxhall. Uh, the airbox filter is just located here on the left. Uh, it's pretty easy, easy to access and to change the filter. So all it takes is, there's one screw there, there's another one there. There's one more just there, and then there's two on this side as well. So in total, five screws, just need to undo them, and then you'll be able to access the air filter. Okay guys, at this point in the video, there was just too many cars going by and it was extremely loud and you could barely hear me talking. But uh, quite simply, to remove the airbox, all you have to do is just take the two clips out and the airbox just opens up, kind of like a box, it's in the name, and the old air filter just comes out. As you can see in the video, my air filter wasn't too bad, uh, but I didn't know at this at the time because I just bought a car and there was a bunch of other stuff that hadn't been done on it so I assumed the air filter was also neglected but to put the new air filter back in you just simply slot it down as you saw the old one uh, was put in and you put the five screws back in and you're all sorted and ready to go um, again do not take my advice a hundred percent I'm not a qualified mechanic but I have done this and my car hasn't broken down it's been about I'm gonna say two weeks since I did this and it's all sorted but yeah thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more videos and hope to see you guys in the next one peace